Hello YouTube, my name is Sarah if you didn't know and today's situation is part two of my Lululemon haul. If you saw the one I uploaded last week you know that I did quite a bit of shopping all in one go so I wanted to split them up so it wasn't overwhelming and you weren't bored. This haul is more focused on loungewear. I don't know why I felt like I needed so many more sweaters because I have a lot of sweaters but what can you do, right? Thank you so much for joining and watching this. If you're interested in following me on any other platform, you can find me at Sarah's Situation on Instagram, as well as Sarah's Situation on TikTok. I'm trying to do more short form videos like outfits of the day, styling ideas, Lululemon reviews, those types of things that I feel like can't always make up a full video. So if you're interested in that stuff, definitely check out my TikTok. My final disclaimer for this intro is that I do work for Lululemon, so everything that I have purchased, I did get a discount on given my employment. That being said, I do not represent the company. I don't speak on behalf of the company. I am simply sharing my opinions on the clothing that you all can also buy. After all that, let's get into the video. I want to start off with the only bras I got this time, which is the Luxstream V-neck train bra. I got it in black, obviously, and I also got it in light sage, and I got them both in a size 12. This bra is made out of the Luxstream material, as the name suggests. The fabric that Luxstream was most commonly in was the Wonder Unders. Unfortunately, those are discontinued, but Luxstream is basically the most comparable to spandex. It's very stretchy, it is sweat wicking, and once you start to sweat, it really sticks to your skin, which kind of hugs you in. It is a tighter material, but it shouldn't be shiny, which is something that could often happen with the Wonder Unders. It is intended for a C slash D cup with medium support and I have like a triple D cup. So sometimes I just like to test out the bras and just see. Can anybody with a larger chest wear these even if it's outside of the recommended cup size? And honestly, I find that this bra fits very well. It's more of a light support for me and the fact that it's V-neck, I was a little bit shy about because I don't like to show a lot of cleavage but I actually think that this would be a really cute shirt to wear with jeans or something else high-waisted, a skirt. Like, I would wear this as a top, not just as an actual bra, but if you have a smaller chest size that's more intended for this, I could definitely see this being a nice medium support, something that you actually could train in. But for me, I would probably wear this to like yoga, maybe some weightlifting, and it does have removable cup pads, which I always take out because I just, I don't like them but overall it actually is very cute I think it fits well it's tough with the number bras because I have more success fitting into the bras that actually are like cup size number like a regular bra like 36 triple D whereas when it's a number which is like this it goes 0 to 12 or 0 to 20 it's hard to know what that actually means so I try to size up whenever I try these out when I have larger cup size and it tends to work out but it is slick supportive four-way stretch and it's almost cooling to the touch so I think this will also just be nice for summer so honestly this is approved definitely check it out it is a final sale item so if you have the opportunity to try it out always I say do that I would take the risk on this because I quite like it so yeah cool find so the next item I got is the Ready to Rulu Half Zip Pullover, which I got one in do pink and one in black. And I have been loving half zips recently. This is beyond soft. Like it is so ridiculous how soft this is, how comfortable it is. It is a relaxed fit, a little bit looser, but I love that the bottom part kind of cinches in and makes it all come together. For me, because I'm short, it just gives my body a little bit more shape. And it's also bringing me closer to be comfortable wearing more tight fit stuff as I'm trying to transition to that because I wear a lot of loose stuff. I stayed true to size. Sizing up in this caused way too much excess fabric in this armpit here. This is going to be great for warming up or cooling off before or after a workout or just general lounging. I'll probably just be lounging in this because it's so soft. And I'll only mention this once because I do have quite a few sweaters like I said, but these little ties on Lululemon sweaters actually double as a hair elastic. So what you do is just feed the elastic back kind of like through itself, if that makes sense, like just pulling this little tangle here, push that through and pull it out. And there you have an emergency little hair elastic. I mean, obviously it's not gonna work for everybody because it's not huge, but it is cool that they added that in and a lot of their sweaters have that. So definitely look out for that. 
And then lastly, I love the detail of this. It's not metal. Something about this part of a zipper rubbing on my face is very irritating. So I like that they have plastic covering this and then they call this a zipper garage so that it doesn't rub on your face, which I really like. So yes, overall, great pullover, so soft. I'm very excited to wear these for lounging. <laughs> My next sweater, I won't spend too much time on it because if you watched my last video, you did see that I purchased this. And I just got it again in blue. So this is the perfectly oversized hoodie. If you know, you know, I love the perfectly oversized crew. So when they came out with the hoodie, I had to get it. But it's strange how quickly these went on sale, to be honest. So not really sure why that happened. I love the sweater. It's an oversized relaxed fit, but if you size down, you can make it tighter. So the last one I purchased is in a size six. I like it, but I do want something a little bit looser. So that's why I got this one in an eight. It is in the soft denim blue color. I love these things. They are two people who commented what the names are and it's called an aglet. So thank you both for doing that and informing me. I will say the head hole for this little bit small so if you're gonna be wearing makeup or anything like that with this it's probably gonna rub on your face i don't know why lululemon kind of misses the mark with that sometimes like as you can tell this is not like stretchy by any means either so it's already tight and then it's not stretchy so it can be a little bit hard to put on if you have a big head like i do has a kangaroo pocket so your hand goes all the way through beyond this just being a comfy sweater I wanted to make a sweat set. I'm going to smoothly transition to the matching bottoms. And by matching, I just mean they're the same color. These bottoms are actually men's bottoms. Again, I say this often in my videos, I wear men's clothes all the time. So feel free to check it out. Feel comfortable swapping between genders or whatever you want to label them because it's just clothes, it's just fabric. So I got these men's pants in the French Terry jogger. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called, French Terry Jogger. So it's made out of the French Terry fabric, just like this sweater. And given that they're the same color, boom, bada bing, here we go, matching. So a bit about these pants. They are a little bit wider in the thighs, which I like, and taper down to the bottom. You can adjust the fit of the bottom with this little tie here. So you can make it tighter, obviously, by just pulling, secure it by moving this little thing here and then you have kind of a jogger cuffed fit. I personally just roll them, like I just find it easier to do that and adjust the length. French terry fabric, again, I say this quite often, but it isn't that super, super soft material. So as you can see, it's a little bit more like a towel softness. It's not gonna kind of like break away and fluff off the way that some of the softer things can do, which I appreciate. It just feels a little bit more structured. That being said, some people don't like it because it is a little bit stiffer. And I have had some of these shrink in the wash. Some of my items made of the French cherry do shrink. I do cold wash, hang to dry. And if I want to add a little bit more softness, I'll put it on super low heat in the dryer for like five minutes, but nothing more than that because I fear that they would shrink more. So a little bit of feedback for Lululemon. These pants have a lot of good features like zippered pockets two on the side and then one on the back. And then they also have drawstrings, of course, that are adjustable. And like I mentioned, the pant leg. For me, I think these fit quite nice. Again, these are just gonna be lounge pants and I love that it's a full matching set. So, yay. <laughs> Next, I'll stay in the realm of the French Terry fabric. So I did get one more sweater in that fabric, which again, this is a men's sweater. This is called the French Terry Oversized Long Sleeve Crew. There we go with all the all the names, but I just got it in Vivid Plum. They're making really nice colors in this sweater, which is interesting because I feel like men get stiffed on the color selection a lot. So I'm really excited that they're venturing into colors like this or even the blue denim or some of the other ones I've seen. But again, the only problem with this sweater is that it does sometimes shrink. So I do have three of these and one of them shrunk. So you definitely have to be mindful. Once I learned that, I just decided to size up. So I first got one in a small, it shrunk. So then I got it in a medium, it was fine. But then I got this next one in a large and I think it's gonna fit the best like now and after washing. Exactly the same as the previous one, cotton French terry, towel material, not super soft, little bit stiffer. So keep that in mind if you are purchasing. Cute oversized relaxed fit. And so, I have officially entered my scuba half sip era. 
To be so honest with you, I never really cared about these sweaters. I just thought, I don't know, the hood is too heavy, the fit is kind of weird, it's super boxy. I just didn't care. And then somehow, one day I tried them on and realized that I actually loved them. And then I happened to come across these, so I got three more. So I'll start off with the half zip. So this is the first one I got, which is in the creamy mint color. I got it in a medium slash large. That's my main complaint is the sizing. I wish that there was at least four different options, like too small or too bigger, but the medium large to extra large, extra, extra large to me is much too big of a jump. So I think the sizing definitely limits people, but if you find one that you like, oh, I don't know what took me so long to start loving these. <laughs> Let's talk about the fit of the oversized scubas, whether it's the half zip or the full zip. They're definitely more of a boxy fit. They are also cropped, and I find that the sleeves kind of balloon out, which I actually quite like. It does have the thumb holes, classic Lululemon scubas. The hood is a little big, but I actually think it's reasonable compared to some of the hoods I've had. Also, like I just mentioned, it does have this emergency hair tie. So same deal, just take that off. And then the half zip has a kangaroo pocket. So your hand goes all the way through and on the inside you have the little mesh pocket. It is just so freaking soft. And this one that I've been showing you is the mulled wine color, which I also got in a medium slash large size. Then I got one in the full zip. So obviously full zip means zipper top to bottom. And basically everything about it is the exact same except for the fact that just the zipper's different, which means that the pockets are different, but there still are pockets on this sweater, obviously, so there they are. And they also still have this media pocket. On both of the sweaters, I also just like the way that this ribbing looks, like the change in fabric. So this is like normal fabric, and then at this ridge it becomes ribbed. It's a little bit hard to see on camera, but I feel like you probably can pick it up. This is in the heathered speckled black. So it's like a dark gray white mixture. This seam on the inside is black. And I got this one actually in the extra large, extra, extra large. And I actually really like the oversized fit. I like kind of just throwing it on. It kind of like hangs nice or I'll wear it after yoga. So I just think that these are so cute and I'm really disappointed in myself that it took this long to get on the train. But at the same time, it's probably saved me money. So I mean, pros and cons. I'm literally obsessed with these sweaters and I'm probably going to order the pastel blue one in the full zip because I think it's beautiful and then I want to try the funnel neck fit. So I have a lot of exploring to do with the scubas and I'm late but thanks for joining me on that. And then the last thing I'm going to talk about is a pair of instills. So I find that again I've mentioned this and I actually got some good feedback on it that the instills just don't sell that well. Like I don't hear a lot of people talking about them. I don't hear a lot of people seeking them out or even really reviewing them. So instills are kind of like the elevated version of aligns. They are intended for yoga, but they're a little bit thicker and they're made out of a fabric called smooth cover. It doesn't pill as much. It's very soft and a lot more supportive. The aligns are supposed to give you a naked sensation or second skin, like you're wearing almost nothing. But the instill crops definitely give a feeling of supported. It's not super tight and it shouldn't be super tight, but it should be comfortable. Some feedback I did get when I commented on the instills a couple videos ago is some people were saying that they find them to roll a lot more than the aligns. But I wanted to give these guys another shot. I do own another pair in like a green color, but I was never reaching for them because I, I realized I just don't like that color in pants. So I wanted to try a different color and I think this color is really pretty. Again, this is Vivid Plum. And then I just got it in the crop. So this is a 23 inseam instead of 25. Given that I'm short, I actually like to wear the 23 inseam a bit more. Some other thoughts on this. It does have this seam around the stomach, which some people think highlights their stomach. Personally, I like, I'm sure it's happening on me, but it's just not something that bothers me because I don't know, I have a stomach, I have a body and, and that's okay. And I know that it's not that easy to come to that conclusion, but for myself, I just find these to be comfortable and they're very pretty. So I'm like, oh well, about the stomach, like you can see my stomach. I think they give good coverage. I cannot even imagine these going sheer, which I think is lovely. Like somehow the fabric is just like it's 
it just doesn't happen, which is interesting because I've been able to kind of get sheerness out of a lot of my tights if I tried hard enough, but not in these guys. So honestly, if you like yoga, definitely check these out. Give them a shot. They have a lot of different colors on sale and they tend to <laughs> be in stock. And then last thing is like the logo is slightly different. So it's almost made out of like plastic and it's like risen instead of just being like a silver press on. So yeah, interesting. These are in a size six, 23 inch inseam. Looking forward to trying these out. Thank you so much for watching part two of this haul. And honestly, I probably didn't have to call it part one and part two because I just do hauls this often. But I appreciate you stopping in. If you didn't see the first part of this haul, definitely go back and check it out. It will be linked in the bio. And make sure to check out any of my other videos. Let me know what other content you'd like to see from me or any other Lululemon specific content. And again, if you want to follow me on any other platforms, it's Sarah Situation on Instagram and on TikTok. So I'll see you all over there. Otherwise, have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.